20 something degrees makes for a nice February day in Minnesota. All right, but it's not quite construction season. We normally build the seven ramps a year, April through October. Uh, this one came up with a special need and they asked if we could do it and uh, took a look at it and said we, we certainly could. It should be 36 above this. Armand Peterson leads a group of Honeywell retirees bundled up and passionate. They're fashioning a ramp through rebuilding together Twin Cities, something that will help Dwayne Farr get in and out of his house. They'll be accessible with the um, his little go-kart thing and um, swing around to the front yeah. um, when the weather's better. The ramp is one of the many gestures of kindness the Farr family has received from their church community at St. Bridget's, as well as the north side Minneapolis Knights of Columbus. It's been the thing that's kept Dwayne going since his return home from the hospital after fighting COVID for months. He came home last Christmas Eve with a lot of recovering still to do. Being in the hospital room was pretty isolating for the last couple of months. Now, a little over a month later. I'm moving along. Therapy has been done now, and now I got to do them on my own. Also behind Dwayne's recovery, a whole team of doctors, nurses, and therapists, including Maura Kelly. He came to our unit because he was done with that acute medical side, but he was still experiencing significant physical impairments that prevented him from going home safely. Kelly says medical professionals are still learning daily about the nuances of the disease, especially the aftermath. But one thing's for sure, there's growing demand for acute rehab physical therapy for patients who have survived COVID-19. In 2020, our floor cared for 125 patients post-COVID. And what that translates to in terms of numbers is, is between 15 and 20% of all the patients that we saw on our floor were post-COVID. That's significant because the year before, it was 0%. So we're seeing a huge increase in the number of patients that are coming to our floor for that specific diagnosis, such that we actually increased the size of our unit from 30 beds to 36 beds in order to accommodate the surge. Not everyone battles severe long-term consequences after their fight with COVID, but Kelly says the importance lies in prevention because the outcomes are so varied. You know, we don't have that information as to figure out like what person is more apt to have these significant physical and um, functional deficits after their COVID. Um, but we can expect to be dealing with the outcome of this disease for a very long time. One other thing, folks at MFELT Health Fairview also told Sharon that they started a new clinic specifically dedicated to post-COVID patients on the 16th of December. And as of today, they have seen 81 patients at that clinic.